guys, um, you guys are nominated for two uh, two Dev Awards, one for Country Album of the Year, mm -hmm. um, Expecting Good Things, and yes. the other for Bluegrass Recorded Song of the Year, uh, Working on a Road. Um, what was your reaction to getting to getting those nods this year? You know what, any time there's any kind of recognition like that, it's always encouraging because, you know, as artists, mm -hmm. our music is very personal. And we literally put our lives into it. So for every project that we've ever recorded, we spend about a year of our time, uh, literally morning, noon, and night, being a husband and wife. You know, we discuss them, we sing them. I'm coming in, you know, we're valet parking, and we're rehearsing a song that we're going to be doing, you know, in a few weeks for a video. So we, we live with these songs. And when you get this kind of recognition for your time and your efforts, it's just very rewarding. And, uh, and plus, too, doing it as long as Jeff and I have done it, it's uh, nice to kind of uh, know that you can still relate to people 25 years later. Exactly, and you guys, you guys have been a group now, a duo for 25 years now. You're mentioning you've been married for almost 26. Almost 26. And I was reading, um, I was reading one to know if this is true. The two of you met as Southern, what Southern <laughs> Gospel fans call sing. Yeah. yeah. Um, back in 1984, is that right? We did. We did. It was uh, Albert Rummins in 1984. Uh, I was a bass guitar player for the singing Americans, and she was singing with her family, the Lewis family. And they're from Georgia, so that's why uh, we ended up here in Georgia. But uh, we met there in 1984 and married in 1985. Well, it was one of those, uh, we were at the concert, and I leaned over, <clears> and I, I asked my mom, I said, don't look now, but who is the guy? You know, And immediately she looked, so he caught us looking. He came <laughs> over and introduced himself, and then said, Polly, do you remember me? So he kind of reintroduced himself to my mom. Uh, she, he had, They had met you know, a year or so prior. And then she introduced me to him. And so it was my mom that actually officially introduced us. Your and 10 months later, <laughs> well, what's funny is that night I got on my bus and mama said, you spent a lot of time with, <clears throat> with Jeff Easter tonight. I said, yes, ma'am, I'm picking out my china pattern. <laughs> 10 months later, we were married, so. Well, look I'm at glad you. he agreed. Yeah. Do you? Oh, <laughs> still <You're> better. <laughs> But your your most recent release, Silver Anniversary, is a collection of songs that span your entire uh, career together. Did you feel that after all the albums you guys have done together, that this was one that pretty much summed up, puts in perspective of the remarkable career you guys have had so far? Well, you know what's funny about this is Jeff and I celebrated our 10th wedding anniversary. We have on every album we've ever recorded, we've done a love song. It's right. just a part of what we feel like our ministry is. So you've got nine gospel songs and one just outright love song between a husband and a wife. We've done that on every album. And for our 10th wedding anniversary, we celebrated by recording 10 love songs. And so it was a wonderful project. We still get requests for it today. A lot of people use these tracks for their weddings. One of the songs I wrote was basically, I give you my heart, I give you my unending love. It was kind of a wedding day song. And so a lot of people have used that for their mm -hmm. wedding. And uh, now that we were celebrating our 25th last year, we said, you know, let's celebrate in the same way. Let's put together a project. Let's call it Silver. So what we ended up doing, we chose those 10 songs from our 10th anniversary wedding project. We chose 13 other of our favorite love songs, and we recorded two brand new love songs. So it's 25 love songs on, on a double two disc. Two yeah, on a double yeah. disc project. So it's really kind of a neat thing, but it's exactly who we are. You know, you know, a couple of the songs, very romantic, love songs, just sweet, sing at your wedding things, and a couple of them are just everyday love, you know, pots to wash, and, and, and pots, uh, pots to wash, oh, clothes, clothes to fold, you know, just that kind of everyday love, you know, so a lot of songs like that. Yeah, and I, can, I, I live in Central Florida, so I come from a big country area, and uh, the Southern Gospel music was, it. W I had to kind of decipher a lot of the message, because a lot of the, the Southern... I guess twang you'd call like yeah. the, the yeah. terms and stuff. I would ask my wife, I'm like, okay, well when they saying this, what are they talking about? And she's like, well this is what the, this is what they're yeah. meaning by when they say that. Well that's like the I tell on stage when I we plug this C D to the guys that have been married fifty years plus, they don't know how to tell that lady how they feel about them much anymore. And I said, So you go buy this C D and I'll tell them, Hey, let me tell them how you feel about Jeff Easter tell them for you. Well, um, speaking of music, you guys you guys have been in the Southern Gospel music scene for a while and bluegrass and stuff. What is, are there favorite bands of yours? I mean, I, I come from a contemporary Christian background. Are there like bands like that'll be at the Dove Awards tonight that you guys enjoy? Um, I don't know. Jeff and I, I'm, I'm very eclectic with my, my taste. Um, my iPod is 
you'll, you'll almost twitch sometimes listening to it because I, I can go from the Osborne brothers to Diana Krall and, and to Lester Flatt and, and, and you know, just I, I span the gamut, you know, Lady Annabellum, you know, it just kind of, I like a lot of different music. So I'm usually the one of the two of us that's more excited about being, you know, with a, a place like this that joins together so many genres. Well, in our label, but, uh, originally with Benson, you know, a lot of the <clears throat> Stephen Curtis Chapman, uh, for him, you know, we've been coming to the Dove Awards for years and years. 25 years. And so we've enjoyed the, the, yeah. the show music, you know, and Toby Mack loved him last year, you know. Toby he Mack, was throwing yeah. down, and it's just entertaining, you know, and it's yeah. wonderful. And it's, it's ministry that the lyric that's there for it. But I'm sitting here, that's a whole different world from what we play, you know. But uh, it's wonderful, and we, we enjoy it. Well, Jeff and I both it. appreciate great talent. Right. You know, and when we sit here uh, mm. to watch a Dove program, or you know, like this past year we were nominated for a Grammy, to sit there and watch the Grammy program, we are still just artists and musicians sitting there, just soaking up every note and every uh, every instrument and everything that's going on. You know, we appreciate the craft, so it's fun for us for that reason. Right, my you know, my wife and I have had conversations about the different styles of Christian music, and I was telling her, I said, you know. The one thing I like about Southern gospel music in particular is that almost a lot of the songs tell a story. Mm -hmm. It's um, kind of, I guess, the version of country music. Right. You it's, know, it's, because uh, of gospel music, Southern gospel is kind of the country music. Yeah. You know, because a country music song is kind of first cousins, I guess. It's storytelling. Yeah, and, and that's and that's what I like about it. I mean, I came from a background of rock music and stuff like that, so when I gave my life to Christ, it was it was easy for me to uh, get into the Toby Mac music and stuff like yeah. that. But then my wife who's a Southern Belle, I met her, she went to a little country church, introduced me to Southern Gospel, the Crab family, oh. uh, they gave her vocal band, stuff like that, and um, <clears throat> many of my friends don't cross that line, they're like, oh, they're going to listen to the country, <laughs> like, but me, I like the different styles of music, I, I, like, I, I like the Southern Gospel, I like uh, some of the bluegrass, the country gospel, and then, you know, rock music, stuff mm -hmm. like that, so I, I enjoy a wide variety of stuff. You know, Jeff and I have had the conversation with Bill Gaither before. I think he's this way, too. Good music is just good it's music. It's good music, yeah. You know, it's just good music. So that's always wonderful to be able to see everybody. Well, you um, you guys have endured a lot over the past two and a half decades. Um, most recently, Sherry, you've been you had battled breast cancer a couple years back, which is now in remission. Um, what was the experience like for you? And, you know, Jeff, what was your reaction, you know, when you found that out? Well, my reaction <coughs> It was a shocker for all of us when we got the initial phone call. But uh, immediately afterwards, of course, we prayed, and then Sherry's the kind, she just starts Googling, you know, what's the best routes to go. And our deal, I just looked there, I said, baby, it's a project. You know, we built houses together, we built buses together. Now this is our new project. We're going to go through it, we're going to get through it, and everything's going to be okay. Well, and I think one of the sweetest things um, <clears throat> all through this um, people would say, Jeff, you know, you're, you're such a great caregiver and you're taking such good care of her. And he would almost take offense to that. He said, you know, I'm just being a good husband. You know, that's, you this is my job. 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 Exactly. And he almost felt like, you know, the attention that, that he was getting was kind of unnecessary. But, I mean, he really was. He was an incredible caregiver uh, right right by my side the entire time. And, and, and it was devastating. I, I, I dealt with it, like Jeff said, by... You know, knowledge is power. Uh, I have a master's in business, and I'm a good student. I like to study. So the first thing I did is I started, you know, Googling terms and what does this mean and what does that mean, writing notes. So when I go into the doctor, you know, this is what I needed to ask. And uh, I was very blessed in that the type of breast cancer that I had was 95% of all breast cancers. So that was a very good thing. They know what to do with it. Right. Uh, and they ended up uh, giving me the option of surgeries, and I, I was chose in every turn the most aggressive because we had a two-year-old at the time. And that's kind of a story in itself because we have a 22-year-old who just got married in December. The two-year-old was, was a surprise. And she was yeah. a shock. Because I was reading that in the... In the in the Southern Gospel magazine that but, you know, it, snuck up on you. Oh, she, I told him we had been married 20 years. That's how we celebrated our 20th wedding anniversary. But we felt with like a baby. God gave us the baby. Yeah. Got breast cancer. Yeah. And, uh, and she was such a wonderful <laughs> inspiration through all of that. But, you know, being having a two-year-old, I knew immediately I wanted to do whatever was most aggressive and, and uh, you know, what can I do? How can I be most aggressive? So everything that we chose, they even recommended chemotherapy, 
They said, you don't have to, but we recommend it for prevention of recurrence. So I even went through the six rounds of chemotherapy. And so it was a tough, tough year. About a year of surgeries, six different surgeries, six different rounds of <clears throat> chemotherapy. Uh, but I told Jeff, I, I went through it kind of quiet, and I had never really been at that place before to where I just, words were shallow and superficial. They did not say anything. They were very empty. And I'm a reader and a writer, and I'm the kind of person who shakes somebody and says, oh, you've got to hear this sentence. Listen to the way this is worded. Or, or you've got to hear this line in this song. Listen to, to how this is worded. All of a sudden, words were empty. Even words like, I love you and thank you, they felt very empty. And uh, so I went through about a year of just being quiet, and it was, uh, it was tough. Uh, as, as a battle because <clears throat> you don't really know how to express yourself. But I had a lot of people praying for me. Uh, in July, I'm going to celebrate three years cancer-free. And I'm just a very grateful woman at this point, very grateful. Uh, you learn a whole lot through the quiet. Yeah, and that's uh, something that, I, and I've, that I've noticed. Uh, a lot of people put those kind of experiences in the songs. Mm -hmm. um, to be able to share those experiences and be able to um, minister to somebody else and say, hey, you know, through God's grace and God's help, I was able to overcome this. And so that's, uh, that was, when I was reading about that story about, about the battle that she had gone through, I'm like, well, praise God, in the end, she put it in God's hands and he ultimately took it away from her. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm sure that she And I can honestly say throughout <laughs> the entire year, there were only about one or two moments of uh, why, why me, this is not fair, and, you know, I call them my crash and burn moments. There were one or two of those, but... I truly believed that God had me in the palm of his hand and that whatever was going to happen was going to happen and that I would better pay attention because I've got something to learn through this. And I just trusted, you know, that you know, you've gotten me through. My dad died when I was 20 years old, and, and we were a very close family. And, you know, God brought me through that and then brought me to Jeff. And, you know, if I'm going to trust him with those areas of my life, I'm going to trust him with my very breath. And, and that's what I did for about a year. We just simply uh, trusted God at every turn. And as difficult as it was, we feel like we're closer now and never could have dreamed of being closer than we were. You know, so well, experience it's, like that will tend to it do really that does. It opens your eyes. Uh, it, it brings a perspective. That makes you, you know? appreciate the moments. You know, when my five-year-old now, I want to go do what I want to do, like work on old trucks and old cars. That's my hobby and what I love. But when she says, hey, Dad, come watch Netflix, Tom and Jerry's on, you know, well, you stop everything you're doing and go watch Tom and Jerry, you know, the, the important And see that the children give you an excuse to watch cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they do. I, mean, I, have, I, I, have, uh, I have an excuse to watch Dora the Explorer yes. and yes. SpongeBob. Diego's. Yeah, yes. all of those. So, so you've got about the same age we yeah, do. Yeah, <laughs> I've, 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 I've got two two year olds. So one, um, my wife and I have two children together, and we adopted oh. um, the younger of the two year olds oh. last year. And I have a four year old who is the, is the Dora. Fanatic, oh, yeah. and then I have an 11 year old, so there's a little bit of age difference there, but um, it's cool because I used to, I grew up with He Man and Masters of the Universe and, <laughs> and Ninja Turtles and stuff like that. But my four year old loves Ninja Turtles, she calls it Turtle Power. Turtle Power, well, yeah. Well, so our she loves kids watching. call it the, the uh, teenage, teenage Mutant uh, Engine Turtles, or oh, and they, they had, <laughs> yeah, it was a really interesting name, yeah, I'm not even go. sure. But our five-year-old now, she, you know, is really into that, so she's well, there's she's. A new, there's a, a new turtle series coming out later this year, oh. so you don't have to get your five-year-old into the new. <laughs> one. Well, guys, I appreciate you guys joining me today, and um, blessings to both, and uh, good luck tonight, and hope you guys take home some doves. And you can find out more about Jeff and Sherry Easter uh, at their website, jeffandsherryeaster.com. Simple enough. And uh, the new album came out this past February, uh, the Silver Anniversary, celebrating 25 years of marriage. You can pick that up now uh, where CDs are sold. So thanks so much for joining us Thank today, you. guys. Right. Thank you, Jeff. Good luck tonight. Until next time, uh, God bless you all. Take care. <laughs>